On this hot July day, I'm here at our turf research facility in Meade, Nebraska, where this year we started a new study looking at organic fertilizers and their potential to help improve our lawns. Uh, specifically, during the summertime, we tend not to want to fertilize because there's a high risk of burning the turf. And so, um, while that's true with many conventional fertilizers with a high salt content, many organic fertilizers are safe to use on turf grass during the summertime. Uh, there's different types of organic fertilizers. We have the uh, fertilizers that are from you know, pure compost, like uh, bone meals, uh, or we have like a malorganite product with, it's from a biosolid, um, and that's actually made from sewage compost. And these products are nice because they don't have too much salt. And the salt is really what the, pro the problem with uh, burn in the summertime, it actually sucks the water from the leaves. So we have a couple different fertilizers here. Um, and what you might be noticing is there's a difference in response. We have some control plots that haven't received any fertilizer and they're a lot more yellow than the plots that are uh, green. And there's different levels of green. So we have like urea here. This urea has a bunch of green color. This is a, not an organic product. It's very quick release and like a quick release fertilizer has a chance for a rapid green up but also a high potential to burn, which is problematic in the summertime. Uh, then we have a couple of blended products here. We have a sea blend product, which is actually made from sea products like kelp extracts that are composted, and then mixed with a little bit of urea, and the urea is coated with a polymer so that it doesn't uh, get released all at once. And then we also have a more traditional organic, which is made from blood meals and feather meals from, uh, from animal, uh, animal butcher butchering. And then we have our traditional organic products, and these products are really low in um, amount of nitrogen per, per product and they generally take a couple years to slowly release that nitrogen. One of the issues with organic fertilizers is they have a pretty low nitrogen content and so if we want to put down three quarters of a pound of nitrogen in one application, one application we need to generally put out a lot more product to get to that amount of fertilizer. For example this urea product we only need to put down one ounce of urea within this area of this plot uh, space, which is about 30 square feet. But for the organic product, which I have a ratio of like a two, three, two, we need to go out at about 18 times that amount to get the same nutrient level. Uh, that's good and it's bad. The good part of that could be if this, this soil is purposely made to be bad, similar to a home lawn. And so if you're putting down a lot of product, although you have to haul a lot more product, there's also the potential that it's like composting the lawn, that organic fertilizer is acting much like a compost and improving our soil properties. So overall, you know, in the summertime fertilization, using an organic fertilizer is a good way to minimize burn and potentially improve the physical properties of your soil, maintain better turf.